Hey guys, it's Dave. It's Friday, so I'm doing another video. But before I get started, I wanted to just say uh, thanks to everybody who watched and commented on my um, Gears of War unboxing. That was by far the most popular video I've done so far, and I just want to say thanks. I love to read your guys' comments. I read them all. Um, I try my best to respond to them all, and I love seeing that. Me doing a video is just half of this whole YouTube thing, you know. Without the comments and the feedback, it really wouldn't be uh, worth doing, so... Keep up the good work on the comments, and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon. This week I'm getting back to basics a little bit. I'm going to do a, um, a screen capture, uh, or a video of my screen anyways, with I Show You. And what I'm going to talk about is uh, Live Mesh on the Mac. This is something I've sort of talked about before, both in my blog posts and uh, in videos. I did a Dropbox um, video not too long ago, and in that I spoke a little bit about Live Mesh as a competitor to Dropbox and then shortly after I made that video uh, Microsoft opened up the Live Mesh platform to Max so I figured now is a good time to represent both equally so uh, you can sort of take your pick and decide which is better so I've installed it and the ins installation was easy and everything up here you'll notice that there's a little uh, circle icon in my menu right here's the Dropbox one this one's the Live Mesh so if I go ahead and uh, I'll try to stay zoomed in a little bit so you can see. If I go ahead and click that, I get the list of folders in my Live Mesh. I have three right here. You'll notice that the ITG one is the only one that um, is dark blue and it has that little orange one. And what that means is that I'm subscribed to that folder. These other two aren't synchronized to my iMac, but they're, it's just there so that if I wanted to um, subscribe to them and pull whatever's in those folders down to my iMac, I could. But for right now just for uh, an example purpose I just subscribe to one of course I can also make a new folder to synchronize be between my different machines uh, add an existing folder so if I have a folder on my Mac so like right here I have this manager folder if I wanted to add that to my live mesh and sync that up to the service I could do that view the news and what that basically does is any changes or files I've uploaded or anything like that that'll be put in my live mesh news uh, manage devices obviously you can connect multiple computers before it was just windows based uh... live mesh clients now you can also sync um, max which is cool uh... i know that they have plans to do mobile devices as well like windows mobile but i'm not sure if they've integrated that uh... yet and then just a bunch of options down here uh... so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to that and i'm going to open up the itg folder i'll scroll back out a little bit as you can see it just looks like a normal folder, uh, much like Dropbox. Um, you'll see too, I have it here on my desktop. If I scroll in, you can tell that it's a Live Mesh folder because it has the Live Mesh icon on it. Um, unlike the Windows side, actually, the Windows side, the folders are a little bit easier to tell that they're uh, Live Mesh because, you know, uh, folders on Windows are usually the yellow color, um, and then Live Mesh folders are blue. Obviously, Mac folders are blue by default, so they just put the icon on there. Not that big of a deal. It works just, uh, just as well, and honestly, um, you might not like the blue folders on Windows because it looks kind of weird. It stands out really obviously. So if that's a problem for you, then this is probably a good thing. So here's the uh, folder, the ITG folder. I only have one thing in it right now. Um, but over here is the, uh, the information about this folder. What this shows is the latest news um, regarding this folder. So right here we see news, obviously, and the only piece of news we have is when I added the itg4.zip um, file to this folder. And obviously that was a while ago. It was last uh, June. But um, it also shows the members. So I'm the only member of this folder right now. I can invite new members. I can manage the members. So if I wanted to kick someone out or something. And I can also set the synchronized devices. So whichever device I want to synchronize this information to, I can choose from a list there. So I'll go ahead and close that. Now, I'm going to try something here. I have my uh, my MacBook running, too, and on my MacBook, I've dual-booted with um, XP, and so I have um, Live Mesh running on my MacBook in XP, and it's synchronized to the same ITG folder. So what I'm going to do is, right now, I'm going to drag a small text file into the ITG folder, and I'm hoping what will happen is that uh, during the course of this video, it will upload it to both the Live Mesh... Um, live desktop which is on the, their website mesh.com and then hopefully it'll pull it down to this folder as well uh, I'm doing this for one reason um, 
when I started using Dropbox, I realized that the uh, uploads and downloads were extremely quickly quick. You could uh, drag something into a folder and almost immediately you could either see it on the website or see it uh, from other machines. So I just want to see if that's sort of the same kind of deal here, if it uh, synchronizes as quickly or what the case is. But um, So I dragged that uh, full file there and there you go. Actually that was pretty quick. It's already recognized that there's a new folder or a new file here live mesh dot text it's obviously a really small just a text file uh, this dot, dot wlx means that it hasn't actually downloaded it and there it goes it just did that's just sort of a placeholder until it downloads it so now I can go ahead and uh, see this in preview I'll s s scroll out here a little bit and as you can see it's just a um, a text file that says live mesh is cool so that that's actually pretty fast it's not as fast as uh, Dropbox but that's pretty good because it actually has to synchronize it in two places first it synchronizes it to the website at mesh.com and then it pushes it down to any machines that are subscribed to that folder so that's pretty uh, competent so I'm gonna go ahead and check out the uh, the actual um, internet or website interface now and I do that by going in and well I'll, I'll do the news first so if I do view live mesh news it'll open up the uh, website here and as you can see this is just the news from today uh, I just move that live mesh dot text folder into the folder ITG um, but I can click I should be able to click these other folders and see some of the news for them as well it's gonna load here for a second okay so actually when I uh, click the um, this is actually good when I click the uh, folder it just takes me to the live mesh desktop and what this is is it's a virtual desktop at mesh dot com up here you can see and uh, it shows me all of the folders that I have. I can create a new folder if I want to. It shows the three folders that you've already seen. And here's the uh, folder that I just opened. It's the Live Mesh folder. This is just a test folder that I've used. Uh, I just have a, a song in here, some folders and stuff that I like to keep back up, backed up, and then also the news for this folder. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if I back out, I should be able to look at the devices. And this is one area that I was kind of uh, not so happy about as you can see there here's the MacBook the Windows XP MacBook that I was just talking about that I put that text folder in, or text file into the folder from and then here's my iMac which I'm on right now one of the coolest features about this window and you've seen this before is that you can remote desktop between uh, machines from here without having to do any port forwarding and this is one feature that I think definitely Live Mesh has over Dropbox um, but the only thing is that you can't do that from the Mac right now. So if I wanted to connect um, to my MacBook running Windows XP, it doesn't give me the option to do that. Normally I would get, see this uh, little connect button. That would normally be orange if I could use that, but um, obviously I can't. And these uh, computers with the X means that those ones aren't online right now. I could also add a device. Obviously I can't add this one because it's already been added right up here. But uh, hopefully they'll be able to integrate that, um, the ability to remote desktop obviously it can be done because Microsoft has put out their own remote desktop client for uh, the Mac and that works fine I use that to remote between uh, OS 10 and Windows all the time but to be able to just use it with mesh without having to worry about IP addresses if you're in your local network or to be able to remote connect when you're outside your uh, local network that would be a huge feature um, let's see right now okay so earlier I said I wasn't sure if they had added the support for mobile yet and if I look down here I can see that it still says coming soon for mobile so once they add this to the mobile devices as well that will be another really good feature so that's pretty much just live mesh I wanted to do another video on it just to kind of follow up uh, to tell you guys that you can use live mesh on your Mac now uh, it's not full function uh, if you're on Windows only you can use some of the more advanced features like being able to remote desktop even when you're outside of your network without having to worry about anything uh, too much of a hassle really so that's live mesh on the Mac hopefully you enjoyed this like I said I appreciate all comments and I read them all and I do my best to get back to you so uh, leave a comment if you like this uh, I'll try to do some more gaming videos down the road based on the um, amount of views and the amount of replies and stuff I can tell that maybe that stuff is a little bit more interesting but um, unfortunately it doesn't always work out that I have a game that comes out on the day that I do videos so uh, I'm not really set up to do a gaming video every week, but maybe I'll start doing some, some more of those types of videos. Uh, thanks for all my subscribers, and uh, I guess we'll see you next week. Have a nice weekend.